Hi guys, in this video I will explain you how you can interface Arduino with Simulink. So let's get started. So first we will open MATLAB and in command window we will type Simulink. Now in startup page we will click on blank model. Here we will import all our components required to interface our Arduino. So I will go in a library browser and here I will scroll down and as you can see here it is showing Simulink support package for Arduino hardware. So I will expand it and I will click on common. So here is the component which I will be importing. So in this I require output component. So here it is. So basically it says set the logic value for the specified digital output pin so I will select this and place it on my workplace so this is our Arduino board and here it says as pin 9 so we will change this to pin 3 Here I can select the pin number so I will make it as 3 and click on apply and ok so we require a signal generator so basically so we require a signal generator here and give it to Arduino board so we will go back to the library browser again and here we will search for signal generator or basically a pulse generator so we will go in simulink and click on continuous and here uh, am I able to find our no, common use block Here it is. So I will select it and place it over here. And I will make the connection. So our signal generator is ready and our Arduino board with pin is ready. So let me specify the sample rate for this. So I will double click on it. Here it is. So here in the pulse type I will select as sample based and here amplitude we will leave it as it, as it is. And uh, the period also I will leave it as it is. And let it be the bells with V5, no issues. And the sample time let it be 0.1. Click on apply and OK. And uh, now next we need to, to visualize this signal. So we will import one more component over here saying as scope. So we can see it on the screen as well. All our basic component is ready. So now 
now it's time to upload our program so here i will select as external and this one i will make it as infinite so it will run in finite time but the problem is here i am not getting the option to run so i will go in the simulation and here i will try to configure it configuration parameter has been open now here i need to select a board so i will select the type of the board and use it so i will go in hardware implementation and here board and here we will select the type of hardware board here we will click on drop down arrow and we will select the type of our board which is Arduino Uno click on it and rest we will leave it as it is click on apply ok i am getting some window yes it is initializing the hardware board parameter values Now our board has been configured, here we will click on apply and ok. So now we got the run option, so we will click on it. Okay, I think we got some error. So it says your current working folder is so and so, and the Simulink does not permit you to modify the MATLAB installation area. So we need to change the path. So I will go back to the main window. Make sure the path is where you save your projects. So now I assume it will run. So I will go back to our project. And here I will try to run again. Here it is had started to blow. Now let me check out in the scope. Let me pause it. And we will click on scope. So you can visualize the graph as well. So as you can see the graph changes as well as the LED glows wherever it is drop down the LED goes, goes black visualize the scope and we will run the program using the scope I will go in the scope and click on run As you can see guys, the graph has been plotted. So every time it goes around, the LED goes off and every time it goes high, the LED goes high.